the world's longest flight. This is real. It's not a joke. 64 days and 22 hours. You might as well say 65 days in the air. And what do they do it in? A Cessna 172. <laughs> it had a modified fuel tank to take uh, 95 gallons. It had a modified oil system so that they could switch from one to the other uh, so that they could do an oil change in flight. They were visited twice a day by this speeding truck where uh, food was hauled up, fuel was sucked up or pumped up, and so was oil. <coughs> Two pilots on board, and speaking of potty luck, they had a mattress in the back and a potty. <laughs> They uh, were sponsored by a motel and uh, for uh, publication and uh, celebration they often sped alongside of a car uh, in the 172 with photos being taken so that the uh, motel hotel could be uh, recognised. There are the people involved. The one on the left is John Cook. The uh, one with the white shirt is Bob Tim, and the other two were associated with the hotel motel. And so that's uh, the man who did it, the man behind it all, and uh, that's him with his citation. I should mention that uh, they had a radio hookup uh, to speak to their family and to radio stations to uh, report what they're up to. Um, they spent 1,550 hours in the air, continuous, and uh, when they landed, they had to do some service on the aircraft because the generator had packed up, the heater had packed up, the taco had packed up, and the fuel gauges had packed up. <laughs> and this is probably why, uh, why Cessna don't use this as an advertisement for their aircraft. <laughs> Oh, they took off in 1958 and they landed in 1959 in Nevada. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was the 6th of December 1958 and they went on uh, into January. All right, so thank you Gordon Hamilton for that. It came as a bit of a surprise to me. I'd never heard of it. Thanks. 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 Thanks.